What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be recreating a look that I did the other day. It was gold with gold rhinestones for the eyeliner. This look is going to be, well this look and the video are going to just be centered around the eyes and the way that the eyes came out. I filmed it like I said a few days ago and the footage became corrupt and I really just wanted to focus it on the eyes because the face makeup I've done in other videos and stuff and I don't feel like doing all that right now. <laughs> I just want to show y'all how I did the eyes. Um, I also want to say thank you to everybody that has supported my channel so far. I mean there's only 33 subscribers but that's a lot to me and I appreciate all the views and everything and just the likes on the video and all of that. The, the support for me, even though, like I said, it was only 33 people, that's, that's a lot. Especially for somebody that never thought once about doing this because I was always so shy to post anything like that I would be doing. So yeah, I, I appreciate y'all and I appreciate all the support that y'all have given me and hopefully my channel will grow from here. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow. Okay, so we're a little, little up close and personal, but I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. Uh, I'm using natural lighting. I've said it in other videos before, so the coloring may come off a little different than what it actually looks like, but this is just the palette. I know it looks, I know this yellow looks like much darker, but in person it's actually a pretty light color. I'm going to start with this light yellow in the crease. I'm just going to take like a fat packer brush. And if I'm looking down, I'm, I'm using my mirror that's right in front of me. I also started with my eyes already primed and my eyebrows already done just because doing my eyebrows takes me such a long time and they always come out different every day. And I can do an entire video on how I do my eyebrows. Sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't is what it is makeup comes off at the end of the day but yeah let me let me stop babbling I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna pack it in the crease and I'm gonna put it right into the crease not not so much above it because I can always go in and blend that out later but I'm just gonna put the the shade or I'm just going to pack this color on until I like it and that like I'm content with it. Like that. I really, really, really don't like the background that y'all see now. I'm gonna have to get a light. Um, like one of those ring lights or something that way I can have actual good lighting and also uh, the background that I would like to use is next to me and it would be me sitting on my bed and I have sh um, string lights hanging from the wall that light up and they flash and stuff or I can just have them on the whole time and I like that background because it's pretty but it's simple. I just, I don't know, I kind of want to wait until I have more subscribers. I know that sounds like weird or crappy or, I, I don't know how that comes off. I'm sorry if that's making me look bad. But I kind of just want to wait until I have more subscribers. That way, um, I kind of have like more of an incentive to get better lighting. I know 33 of y'all is like a lot for me, like I said in the intro, but I just, I don't know. My, my room's also really small, so I don't want to like pack a bunch of stuff into it unless I need to. But I'm just going to take this wet and wild eyeshadow on a fluffy brush. I'm not going to put a lot, but I'm just going to run that over the edges of where that yellow ends. That way we can lightly blend it. I 
And it's not going to be super, super, super blended, but just a little more blended than it was before. And I'm also holding the brush at the very end, that way the application is lighter and I'm not having to push so hard into my eyes. So when I blend, it'll be more, um, more diffuse. Then I'm going to go back in with that first brush that I used. Pack a little bit more color. I'm so, 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 so excited for fall. I can't believe it's September already, but like, I just, I love the fall and Halloween is like, Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite holidays, but I just love like, special effects makeup and like doing stuff that requires you to like really think outside the box um, I don't really do many colorful looks just because I don't know I feel like I'm not that creative yet but I'm I'm excited to try stuff for Halloween because I think that'll be really fun and exciting and I want to do a few separate Halloween looks. There's a lot of video ideas that I have that I want to do. But it'll look something like that. And I'm going to take this just like fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip it into like this orange right here and a little bit of this brown and mix them together. Just very, very, very lightly. Tap off the excess and I'm going to focus this on the outer corner and I'm not it doesn't really look like I'm putting anything but I would rather do that than pack on a bunch of eyeshadow and then not be able to blend it out later and I'm just gonna keep that on the outer portion and bring it in just a little I'm not worried about it getting in the crease because I still have to go in and blend more in the crease anyways and once again, I'm holding the brush at the very, very end. It's been thundering for like over an hour, but part of the sky is gray and part of the sky is blue. So it's really weird. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush that I use and go in with a little bit more of the cream colored eyeshadow and go very very lightly on the outer corner of my crease and slightly just blend it a little bit up that way I can get a little bit of that yellowish tone a little bit higher without having to go in and place it there that's why blending is so important because you can just use cream colors and blend it in a little bit with whatever color is under it and slightly, slightly just move the brush up and it'll diffuse that color without you placing a crap ton of color in there. And then you're stuck with it there, you know? Sorry for my dogs. I'm going to go back in with that packer brush again and take some of that yellow color and just pack that on my eyelid. And it doesn't really matter where I hold the brush just because I'm packing it. It's not like I'm trying to go in and like blend it or anything. I just want that color in a specific spot. And then I'll lightly go over where it meets the darker colors. That way there's not such a harsh line there. So you can kind of see the difference. Right. I'm 
I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> this this look requires a lot of blending. Also, if I look to the side, I'm looking at the camera viewfinder because my screen flips out to the side. But I dipped into that cream color just a little bit, and now I'm gonna go along the inner portion of my eyelid to try and blend that color out just a little bit. That way there's not such a harsh line. Put a little too much cream color over there, but that's okay. Gonna go in with that same brush again. No extra product on it. Just lightly pat over where I just blended. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush that we used on the outer corners and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the darkest brown right there the tiniest 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 bit and I'm going to put that on the very 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 outer corner tiniest bit I don't want a lot of color out there, just enough to get it defined. And this is how it's looking so far. Simple, super, super simple. And that's honestly pretty much it for the eyeshadow itself. Now comes, now comes the tedious part. And it was super cute the other day. It was just kind of uncomfortable, so. Be very, very, very careful. I'm not suggesting that anybody put rhinestones along their eyes. Do it at your own risk. Because something could always go wrong or one could get in your eye and then you get a scratched cornea or something. But these jewels, I, I have more in here, but this is... I don't know how to pronounce that. But they're from Amazon. I think they were like 15 bucks and you get all of these shimmery, really pretty colored ones. And then specific colors. And I'm just going to take the gold ones and I'm going to make a liner with them. And this is the like most time consuming part out of the entire look. So if you have some time to spare and you want to do this, be prepared to spend a lot of time doing it. <laughs> and the Amazon um, rhinestones came with this tool. This side broke, but this side has like a flat end that's supposed to be able to like pick up the rhinestone. Hello. There we go. It's supposed to be able to like pick up the rhinestone, but it doesn't really work for me. So, I just went in and did mine with tweezers, and I got a pack of two, so these ones um, are just pointed like that. But I'm going to take my lash glue. I'm, I have the duo one, which is really good, and then I also have another one from AOA Studio. It was a dollar. And they look like this, both of them together. Both of them are really good. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm just, this was the first one I grabbed. And I'm going to take it. And I'm just going to start on a little portion. You can see where I put it because it looks white, but it's going to dry clear. So don't worry about that. Pick up a rhinestone. Dang it. I lose at least like 10 rhinestones every time. Okay, so it's like barely hanging on. But I'm just going to set that. 
right there on the inner corner like that pick up another one barely hanging on oh, oh crap oh I got it we go. no god they're so small I just keep losing them okay there we go like that and the glue next to it has already dried so I'm gonna have to put some more actually I'm gonna try and find those other ones that I just dropped found them Put a little more. I'm going to try and keep it from getting in my eyelashes because that is probably one of the most like annoying things is when you get a bunch of lash glue in your real eyelashes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Take it and stick it next to it. I'm sorry. You can't see me. Take another one. This process will like really, really test your patience. Okay, so it should, it should look something like that. I will come back to you when I have it done all the way to the end and then I'll show you how I do it going up like for the the wing portion so I'll be right back okay so like an hour later this is how the eyes are looking now what I like to do is if I want like if I want to figure out where the gem should go I look straight so I'm gonna lift up my mirror a little bit look straight and then I will take the glue, sorry, take my eyelash glue, and I will place it, sorry, I'll place it where I want the gems to be without getting in like the crease. So that way when I put the gems down, they're not going to be in my crease. Keep dropping these ding gems. That way it will look like that. And then I'm gonna add another one. Maybe two more. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side. And it's okay if the glue gets everywhere because it'll dry clear. So it's not going to be an issue. Okay. And it's okay if they're a little bit off because once you put your eyelashes on or even just mascara it'll kind of hide it a little bit better but I'm gonna put one more on each side so I'm gonna put a little dot and because you're not using that much eyelash glue it'll dry fairly quickly So just make sure that you work fast enough or else the gym, the gems, or else the gems won't, dang it, or else the gems won't stick. Okay. 
There we go. So that's how I did that. And then I'm going to wait for it to dry. And I will be right back. Okay, so it's dried. And I went ahead and put a little concealer with powder under there. I know the rest of my face looks crazy, but like I said, this is just about the eyes. So now that I have that the way that I like it, I'm going to take the same brushes that we used earlier. Sorry, let me get my stuff together. So remember this brush that we used? There's a double end to it. So I'm going to take this double end. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of this brown shade with this orange shade. And I'm going to lightly pack that along my lower lashes. And then take it up along those gems to kind of give me like the cat eye look a little bit. Like that, and then do the same exact thing to the other side. So that side definitely came out darker than the other side, but we can fix that. No problem. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get out of focus. I'm trying to stay in focus. a little bit more of that dark shade and just bring it up I know it looks super crazy but we can like I said we can always go in and fix that with a sponge just pat over it wherever you don't want it and then just do it again and I know they don't look too too much of the same but just play around with it the best you can and do it until you're satisfied. Um, I'm okay with that because I'm going to take this off afterwards. But then I'm going to go back in with that side we use the yellow one. Lightly, lightly pack a little bit underneath. Not too, too much. Just a slight bit. I'm looking up that way, I'm holding my mirror next to my camera so it's not in the way. And I'm still holding the brush at the end, that way the padding motions aren't too hard against my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with that blending brush we use. We're only using three brushes for this entire look, so it's super, super easy. I'm going to use the same cream color shadow we used earlier. Pick it up a little bit on that brush and just lightly run it along the lower lashes to help blend that a little bit better so it's not a super super harsh line. something like that. So it still looks a little bit harsh, but the good thing about makeup is that you can do it the way you want it and play with it how you want it so it you know you can make it as sharp as you want it or more blended out if you want. Totally up to you. You could even put another gem on each side if you really wanted to make it like super cat eye. Then actually I lied. I'm sorry. We're going to use one more brush, but it's a super fluffy brush. It's small though. Let me find it and I'll show you. Okay. This one's from Eco Tools, but it's just like a, a little fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with this white shimmery color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone very, very lightly. Just enough to where you can see a little bit of shimmer, like when you turn your head, but not to where if you look right at me, you're going to see this big white streak under my eyebrow. So you want to make sure that it blends nicely like that. I think that looks pretty pretty good. Now 
I'm going to take some yellow eyeliner. This one is from LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. The color is called Screamin' and it's just like super bright yellow. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. Sorry. I got to like sit you up to the side. That way I can see myself without being out of frame. And I'm lightly, just lightly tugging down. Not even tugging. You could always use like a sponge if you want to put the sponge there to, to hold it down. Totally up to you. I just use my finger. And I'm going to try and bring it as far into the inner corner as I can just to make sure that yellow connects all the way through. And it's okay if a little bit gets on your um, eyes, eyelashes, your lower lashes. <laughs> now, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to take my eyelash curler, and I'm going to try and get as close to the root of my lashes as possible without disturbing the rhinestones. So just play around with it until it's comfortable for you. And I'm just going to squeeze it and pulsate it like this a few times. That way, they really, really, really get curled. And sometimes I'll even go in and curl them again. Just to make sure that I got all of the lashes the first time. Okay. So you can't really tell that my lashes are curled. Maybe from like the side, there you go, you can that they're curled. But now, I'm going to take my mascara. Any mascara works. Doesn't matter. Use whatever you want. For today, I'm going to use the Unlimited from L'Oreal. It's really nice because it has a, um, a bendy top. That way you can turn it and stuff however you want. Sorry, those are my dogs. Obviously. But they're so big that they just kind of echo everywhere when they bark. But I'm gonna put a few coats of this on until I'm satisfied with how it looks. You can always amp it up with eyelashes or fake eyelashes I should say. Or multiple coats of mascara, whatever you want to do. This mascara is nice because it gives length, but I use multiple mascaras to get my eyelashes the way that I want them. So after this one dries, I'll go in with like a more volumizing mascara. Because I don't particularly like to wear fake eyelashes all the time. Just because my eyelashes are so long already that I don't feel like I need to. But next, I'm probably going to mix the two of them. I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And then the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And they look like this. And I'm just going to go back between the two of them. Until... I'm satisfied.
But yeah, so this is how the top looks. I can go in and get that little bit of mascara with the Q-tip. But yeah. And then I'm going to take some mascara and put it on the lower lashes as well. And I'm going to go back to this one that has the bendy top. That way it's easier for me to get in there. Sorry. I got to look up. Okay. So this <laughs> don't mind well, don't mind my nails first off. But secondly, don't mind the rest of my face. <laughs> but this is the eyes completed. Like I said, you can always add more mascara if you'd like or build it up however you want. And feel free to change anything. Lastly, I just realized that I forgot to highlight my inner corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that same white shade that we used on the brow bone and I'm going to highlight the inner corner. That way it just brings a little light to the center of your eye or sorry to like the, the center of your face and it draws people's attention to your eyes when the sunlight reflects. And then I like to slowly kind of just flick that up into the rest of the eyeshadow so it doesn't look too harsh of a dot there. Okay, now this is the finished eyes. I hope you like how this came out. The only downside to this look, one, is how long it takes to put the rhinestones on, but two, also when you go to take them off, sometimes lash glue will get stuck in your eyelashes, so that can be a little bit of a hassle to take off. However, if you use a little bit of waterproof um, makeup remover, I like the Garnier one, the eyelash glue should come off fairly easy. But yeah. My friend Sammy was the one that had suggested that I do, um, oops, here, we'll zoom out a little bit. My friend Sammy was the one that had suggested that I do gold, like gold or yellowish on the eyes. So this is how it came out. The next look that I'm going to do is probably going to be something around sunset themed. And I'm thinking sunset instead of like your, your typical orange and yellow and red, I'm going to do maybe like pink and blue and purple like when the sky is really pretty and I'll put up a reference picture next to it but I think that's what I'm gonna do next maybe I'll throw in some more of these gems or some of the glitter that I have we'll kinda just see we'll play around and I'll let y'all know what's next don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>